wait is finally over after so many days of speculation and teasers towards the League of Legends Jinx skin coming into Fortnite Battle Royale. We finally got the skin along with tons of other things along with a back bling and a pickaxe and some really cool loading screens. But one thing that some people are noticing within these loading screens is that the Aerial Assault Trooper is making an appearance. Now, as you guys know, the Aerial Assault Trooper has not been in the item shop since October 31st of 2017. And if you're wondering how many days that was, that was approximately 1,000 466 days ago. It has not been in the item shop for 1400 days. Along with the Renegade Raider, it's one of the rarest skins in the game. And according to tons of Fortnite players all over the community, this Jinx loading screen could actually be a teaser to Aerial Assault Trooper finally returning. Now, nothing has exactly been confirmed, but the really the biggest thing is that why would Epic Games put this in the Jinx loading screen? It, I don't understand why they would pick specifically the Aerial Assault Trooper. As you guys know, Fortnite and Epic Games love to play with the community's emotions. They're always putting things that aren't coming to the game in things and teasing things, and it makes you think and it makes you overthink all the time. A great example is like Tilted Towers and some things in Fortnite Mares that were in the trailer actually didn't come into the game but this one seems a little bit odd this one seems very very out of the ordinary and i'm not exactly sure what this could mean maybe people are just overthinking it maybe it's nothing maybe it's just something for cool art who knows but it seems that a lot of people are thinking the aerial assault trooper will be making a return and if we go ahead and assess the loading screen right here it looks like jinx is breaking into some type of stone building now at first i was like what if this is the vault maybe this is the vault of vault Vaulted skins of skins that aren't returning, but then I saw the jelly skin and I saw things like llamas and I saw a uh, Like a board up in the top left of like a restaurant So I'm not exactly sure what this place is. Maybe it's like a junkyard or something like that That would make a lot of sense uh, especially with a jelly. I'm not really sure how that would work but nevertheless for some reason, the Aerial Assault Trooper was in this building when she broke through it, according to the loading screen, because it looks like she broke through it with the minigun that she has, and she's just, like, causing havoc everywhere. Who knows exactly what this means, you guys, but one thing that I want to ask you is if the Aerial Assault Trooper does return. If it returns, like, let's say in a couple of months, do you guys also think that the Renegade Raider will return as well? That's a really big question because, as you guys know, most of the time, Aerial Assault Trooper and Renegade Raider are seen together. The Aerial Assault Trooper is the male counterpart to the Renegade Raider, and I feel like most of the time when they do put out sets like that, they put it out with a male and female counterpart, just like with the Skull Trooper and its female counterpart. But who knows, guys? Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you want more than just the Aerial Assault Trooper to come back? Do you want to see more rare skins back into the item shop. Do you actually think that this is a possibility or do you think the community is overthinking it? As always guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on today's video, make sure you are using code PRO0YT in the Fortnite item shop because if enough people use my code, I'm going to do a giveaway at the end of November. Thank you all so much for watching to the end of the video, you have no idea how much that helps the video get out to more people so more people can watch my videos and stuff like that. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Peace.